What's popping everybody back with another video in this video we're going to talk about nfl player cincinnati bingo eli apple trolling stefan diggs for at least 24 hours or more he's been trolling him online all day almost for two days straight and we're going to get into it so after the buffalo bills lost to the cincinnati Bengals, got eliminated from the playoffs stefan diggs jumped on twitter because it was such an uproar that he kind of started yelling at Josh Allen on the sidelines and they got into it. Well, not really. Josh Allen just kind of ignored him, but he didn't stop. He kept yelling at Josh Allen. People felt like it was kind of classless and not professional. So Stefan Diggs jumped on Twitter and said, you want me to be okay with our level of play when it's not up to the standard? Nah. So Stefan went on to tweet, you want me to be okay with losing? Nah. He also said, it's easy to criticize my reaction more than the result. So Eli Apple jumped on Twitter and went full demon mode on Stefan Diggs. He said and responded to Stefan Diggs saying Cancun on three. And people felt like that was a reference to DeMar Hamlin. They were playing in his honor, trying to kind of like get the win for DeMar and it just didn't happen. People felt like that was a reference i'm not sure but that's that's what the majority of people thought that he was referenced to mar hamlin eli apple later on denied that he said that wasn't a reference to the mar hamlin then he went on to tweet that they didn't do this after the game and he posted a, a video josh allen and stefan diggs doing their like handshake uh, showing off their elite handshake skills and eli apple said they didn't do this after the game kind of you know taking shots and making fun of the whole situation so a lot of people didn't like the hamlin reference that people feel like he made in the Cancun on three tweet. One guy said, trash talk is all part of the game, but making it personal about a kid who almost died is absolute garbage. Then another person said, Diggs is living rent free in your head. This person said, it's okay to go after Diggs separately. That's fair game, but why are you hating on DeMar? That's not cool. He's still recovering from almost dying less than a month ago. Sickening tweet, pathetic. So after all that trolling, Eli Apple walked back his whole tweet that was supposedly referencing DeMar Hamlin. So this is what Eli Apple said. He said, all love, thoughts, prayers, and concerns to Hamlin as he continues to recover from the tragic incident. Never would I make light of a scary, unfortunate scene. This game is truly dangerous risk to our bodies, mind, and spirit. Nothing but love to all my football brothers. My thing with Eli Apple, being a Bengals fan, I've seen him play very good, but I've also seen him play horrible and be super inconsistent. Almost so much that he almost got benched early, early in the year. I've seen the best Eli Apple and the worst Eli Apple. And just him being so inconsistent, I don't feel like he has the right to troll Stefan Diggs who's an all-time talent now that's and that's me that's me being a Bengals fan now I still like Jamar Chase way more than Stefan Diggs but you gotta you gotta give props where props is due and I've seen Eli Apple get burnt so many times and cost us so many games like literally I was calling for him to get cut at one point because it was just he would get burnt so much it's like and then lately he's been stepping up his play it is what it is but i feel like I feel like he has to stop stop trolling man he has the some of some of it's funny but some of it's just like over the top annoying and it's just not the energy it's really not how any other bingos roll like that's not t higgins style that's not burrow style that's not jamar chase style so it doesn't really like all that trolling doesn't really reflect the team like that's not how most of the cincinnati bingos are you know, most of the Bengals pretty professional, you know, when it like, don't get me wrong. They like to celebrate and brag and, 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 and gloat like anybody else, but they're not online trolling. Like you're not going to see Joe Burrow just sit online trolling Patrick Mahomes. You know, <laughs> you're not going to see, you're not going to see T Higgins or Jamar Chase or, or, or Boyd or anybody just like trolling nonstop for two days straight. That's like only Eli Apple. So, <laughs> so, so don't, don't football fans out there don't get it mixed up to think like this is what the Cincinnati Bengals are about this is just an Eli Apple problem but yeah that's all I got let me know what you think about Eli Apple trolling Stefan Diggs do you think it was funny do you think it was classless and unprofessional what do you think let me know in the comments I'll see you on the next one I'm out